I got a new computer recently and I downloaded Skyrim and uh, I just downloaded a load of mods. I didn't know what they were, just a load of mods. Yeah. And then like the guy comes up to me and he's like, you've committed crimes against Skyrim and his people. Uh, and then like it next, it just cut to him fucking me. And my character was on so I want to break down this story real quick because this is literally impossible. This is this is like saying that your car engine is completely dismantled and you hit it with a wrench and it just started working. And, but what made me want to do this is this. So they doubled down in the comments by saying this. And this is actually a huge self-report. So then they fucking tripled down with this. Okay, first and foremost, let's just dispel mod pack idea like he says in the story. Nexus, right here. Nexus has never supported mod packs. Never has, never will. Nowadays, they use two tools called Wabajack and their own personal thing called collections. Now, the reason why mod packs have never been supported is, for, well, there, this guy goes into a bit of more detail into it, but also the big reason is that if, if you downloaded a mod via a mod pack, like, you know, nine, five years ago, the authors would not get credit. They would not get their download points, which is a big problem with the website's organizational side. And that's just like the clout side of things. There's actual structural difficulties with that. How do you add it? Okay, whatever. So the idea that he got this off a of mod pack because this sexual mods in Skyrim require Lover's Lab. They require Sex Lab framework. They, they have to have this. They do not work without this, like none of them. And the only ones that can work have to use this, FNIS. Sex Lab mods still have to use this. And so I, I just wanna get this out of the way. This story is automatically, I'm gonna say this didn't happen at all for the simple fact that for a mod pack to contain Sex Lab, because this mod has never been on Nexus, means that he could not have gotten a mod pack, like a rogue mod pack off Nexus, because you would not be able to link to off-site mods. So, this story is already borderline impossible from the start. But now, now let's get to this. The, by the way, there it is impossible for a mod pack to do any of this for you. If you're going to add sex animations, you have to do this, especially back then. Now you're gonna want to find your Steam folder. Mine is um under my PC, my documents. So you're gonna need to find your Steam folder, which is right here. Again, there's no way around this. So go to Steam, Steam apps, common, Skyrim special edition. You will find the finesse in your data folder. So you just now click on tools. And now you know, let's mod. assume you know. So okay, let's assume you had an advanced ahead of its time mod pack that somehow just auto detected your folder. It did everything right. You know, like Vortex does now. Let's just assume you had that nine years ago. You didn't because it didn't exist. But let's just say for the sake of the argument. You're just looking to um, generate um, animations for your for your, uh, your game. You're gonna use this file. So go ahead and click on it and click OK. All right. You now have the patch installed. For so your... once you have the tool in your mod manager, tools and mod manager, you're gonna go and click on it. Just make sure it's activated. You have the right file, and here it is. You then have to pull this up. Then you have to add the patches for whatever you know, like your sex lab patch or whatever. Then you have to actually go into this and manually check the. You know, you have to check the animation you want to add. Then you have to update FNIS behavior. Again, it's like the only way to do this, especially back then. The full guide Skyrim. from this guy that explains this mod is 17 minutes long. And there's no way he could have done this. And also, I just want to I just want to also explain this this behavior he is describing that he's describing of a guard just walking up and f you know, forcibly using your body. That is a mod a sex lab mod called Defeat. And Defeat was not made, like, I, at least I, 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 if my memory serves right, Defeat was not made this long ago. I would pull it up here, but I'm afraid that it might, like, flash porn on the screen. Not only is Defeat not that old, this that is the only mod that allows enemies to come up and do stuff to you. You know, under if the conditions are met, and this is one of them. So he is describing a much more modern mod that has a pain in the ass install process. I know because I installed it specifically for this video so I could get an idea of what it was like. Even if you did somehow get this in a mod, even if you fucking time traveled and managed to get this in a mod pack, you would still have to do manual setup as I just proved. I, I think this proves beyond a unequivocal shadow of a doubt that this story either didn't happen 
or he's purposely telling it in a way that he finds, you know, humorous. He either he either knew what he was doing because there's no way that he opened up this screen, saw like, you know, guard forced blow job, clicked check and then update and didn't like, you know, didn't know what he was doing. Basically, this story is 100% fake. Stop tripling down on it. You sound like a fucking idiot.